behind me is Xantha. She came from World Horse Welfare and I've now had her for 15 years. I was looking for a Shetland and um, something I could drive and Xantha seemed to fit the bill. I've always wanted to ride over the hills and um, I started thinking about routes and where we could go and um, normally in winter I work out a route then with a friend we go looking for bed and breakfast for ourselves or hostels and fields for the ponies which is most important and um, work out the days into doable chunks. We look for tracks of which there are many in Scotland that you can use. When we can't drive on a track it becomes a path Xantha becomes a pack pony and carries our lunch and our waterproofs and even if we're staying in a bothy our sleeping bags as well. We started off in 2009 and did 50 miles and um, these last two years we've done 210 miles, 180 miles this year and she just loves it. Show her a new track and she's off. She's extremely fit as a result of this. She keeps a residual fitness all winter so when I clip her out in March to start getting her going again, I really only have to take her up probably five times and she's as fit as she was last year. Um, and the minute she's clipped, she knows that something's up. And, and then when she's shod again in March, um, she, she just about shakes with excitement. Yeah, she's a, she just loves it. She's just a great character. She loves driving. She loves driving new tracks and she reads the ground. Um, if she sees a hill before her, she knows she can trot, even canter up a hill, because driving ponies are allowed to canter to, to get the momentum up a hill, otherwise they only stay at trot. So she will go for that hill at a canter, slow to a trot if she gets as it gets steeper, and then when it gets really steep, she will stop and turn round and look at you and that means you are to get out and help her. So then you have to get out and lead her up the hill. And, um, but it's just the way she do it, she does it. It's what we call that look that she gives. One of the great points about rehoming a horse from World Horse Welfare is that you have backup. There's a field officer who comes to check your pony twice a year and will come again if you're worried. Um, and the other point is that the charity can only take so many horses, so if you can rehome one, they've got room for another cruelty case or case of neglect. So please, if you want a horse, think about World Horse Welfare before you go and buy something, because you get such excellent backup, and um, so many of the horses have been brought on, and um, I'm sure you wouldn't be disappointed.